Hello class, today we start our adventure into mathematics together with section 1.1, comparing and ordering integers. The first thing we need to do is define what integers are. Integers are the set of all positive and negative whole numbers. Please take a moment to pause this video and write down the definition of integers. If you're having difficulties remembering what whole numbers are, Whole numbers consist of the set of natural or counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, plus 0. If you need to, please take a moment to pause this video and write down the definition of whole numbers. I would now like you to take a minute to observe the numbers down below. Try to determine which ones are integers Please pause the video and take a moment to do this. Also, please remember you should write down all of these examples in your notes. I will now go through and put an X through numbers that are not integers and explain why they are not integers. Three-fifths is a fraction. A fraction is not a whole number and all integers are whole numbers, therefore three-fifths cannot be an integer. Since we know fractions can't be integers, that also rules out seven-sixths. 0.75, or 75 hundredths, is also not a whole number, therefore it cannot be an integer. So we can also rule out 5.6, or 5 and 6 tenths, negative 7.3 or negative 7 and 3 tenths and 1.76 or 1 and 76 hundredths. Now we will take a moment to discuss ordering integers. You are already very familiar with ordering whole numbers. Ordering integers is slightly more difficult. When we look at the number line below, we need to remember negative numbers are to the left of zero and positive numbers are to the right of zero. The further to the left of zero a number is, the smaller it is. So this almost seems a little counterintuitive. Negative six is indeed smaller than negative four. The farther away from the right of zero number is, the larger it is. This is a concept you are already very familiar with. I'd like you to take a moment and order these numbers down below from smallest to largest. Please pause the video and take times to do this and remember you should put the diagram above as well as the example below in your notes. These numbers written from smallest to largest are negative 52. Negative 52 is the number furthest to the left of zero, therefore it is the smallest. Next would be negative 21, then negative 8, negative 7, negative 3, 0, 3, 6, 12, and our largest number is 33. So, how'd you do with ordering the numbers from smallest to largest? Now we're going to take time to talk about comparing integers. When we compare integers, we use the same symbols that you already know how to use to compare whole numbers, decimals, and fractions. These symbols are less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to. Please take a moment to pause the video and write down the symbols that we use to compare integers. Now I would like you to take a moment and try comparing some integers yourself. Use the symbols above to compare the following pairs of integers. Take a moment to pause the movie, write this example down in your notes, and put in the symbol that you believe is appropriate. The first pair of numbers that we're going to compare are 4 and negative 5. Any positive integer will always be greater than a negative integer, 
therefore 4 is greater than negative 5. The next pair of numbers we are going to compare are 6 and 10. 6 is less than 10. The final pair of numbers we are going to compare in this example are negative 3 and negative 3. When two numbers are the same, it means that they are equal to each other. I'd now like you to take a moment to pause the video once again and write down the next example in your notes. Before you resume playing the video, I would like you to determine whether you believe the following statements are true or false. We will go over them afterwards. Looking at the first set of numbers, it says negative 3 is less than or equal to negative 4. When we locate negative 3 and negative 4 on the number line, negative 3 is further to the right on the number line than negative 4. This means that negative 3 is larger than negative 4, therefore this statement is false. The next set of numbers we're going to look at are 5 and 7. 7 is further to the right on the number line than 5, therefore this means that 7 is greater than 5, therefore this statement is true. The next statement is negative 6 is greater than or equal to negative 6. If it just said negative 6 is greater than negative 6, the statement would be false because they are equal to each other. But since the symbol is greater than or equal to, the statement statement is true because the numbers are indeed equal to each other. The last set of numbers we are comparing are negative 2 and negative 9. Negative 2 is further to the right on the number line than negative 9, therefore negative 2 is larger than negative 9, so our statement is true. Now I would like to give you the definition of opposites. Opposites are two numbers that are the same distance away from zero on the number line in opposite directions. Please take a moment to pause the video and write down the definition of opposites. Now I would like us to use the following number line to find some opposite numbers. Let's find the opposite of 5. 5 is 5 units to the right of zero. So to find the opposite of 5, we would go 5 units to the left of 0. When we do this, we land on negative 5. Therefore, negative 5 is the opposite of 5. Please take a moment to record this example into your notes. Let's try one more example together on the number line, and then I would like you to try a few examples on your own. Let's try to find the opposite of negative 2. Negative 2 is 2 units to the left of 0. So to find the opposite, we need to go 2 units to the right of 0. We land on 2, which means 2 is the opposite of negative 2. Now please take a moment to pause the video and write down the next example in your notes and try to find the opposite of each of the following numbers. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. The opposite of a positive number will always be negative. Please take a moment and record the statement. The opposite of a positive number will always be negative in your notes. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. Please take a moment to pause the video and record in your notes. The opposite of a negative number is always positive. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. The opposite of 12 is negative 12. The opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. The opposite of 23 is negative 23. And the opposite of 47 is negative 47. Now that we know what opposites are, let's try adding a few of them together. Remember, the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. So if, to add positive 7 to negative 7, we will go 7 units to the right of negative 7. When we do that, 
we end up landing on zero. Let's see if we can find a pattern. Let's try another example. Let's try adding the opposite of 4 to 4. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. Since we're going in the negative direction, we need to go to the left. Four spaces. So we're adding negative 4. When we do this, we end up landing on 0 again. Do you think you've discovered the pattern? Let's see. When opposite numbers are added, their sum is 0. This is always true. Now please take a moment to pause the video, write the statement above in your notes as well as the examples above in your notes, and try the following three problems below. Please also record the three problems in your notes. When we look at all of the numbers in our problems, we have 3 and negative 3, negative 5 and 5, and 7 and negative 7. We know that all these numbers are opposites, and whenever we add an opposite of a number to it, we know that the sum is always 0. Therefore, the solution to all three of these problems is 0. Please take a moment and consider the three questions below. How are integers different from whole numbers? What is a name for a pair of numbers that have a sum of 0? And does every number have an opposite? Explain your reasoning. Take a moment to record these three questions and your answers to them in your notes. We will discuss them in class together.